Good morning, Starshine. This is Smadar from Song of Stones. I am Crystal Whisperer. I help people connect with the stones who are singing just for them. And I listen to the Song of Stones and share the messages that the crystals have for us as a community, for my customers um, personally. And today I'm here with, I'm here with an interesting story. So I have these two uh, stones. They are Hawaii and Chalcedony. That's how they were sold to me. That's how I had listed them up on the website. And then I um, got some messages. I'm going to give you a better look at them because they're so lovely. Somehow, when I put them in my hands, the stones, the color, the energy is just different than if I just have them sitting on the table. So often you'll see me um, take pictures of crystals with my hands. And um, it's because I get the best pictures of the crystals that way. So just a little FYI. So after I listed these up, I got messages on Instagram saying, well, a few people just said fake and went on. But one lovely, lovely person got in touch with me and said, listen, these are not a white. These are a, another type of crystal, also a beautiful crystal called aquacrase, um, which as I've come to discover is an amazing crystal. Maybe it's even more rare than a white and certainly can be more expensive. Um, but honestly, none of that matters to me. What matters to me is that I represent the crystals as um, honestly and as accurately as possible um, because it matters to people. And for me, it doesn't make a difference what the name of the crystal is. I tend to, um, I tend to connect with the crystals who are singing for me. What their name is is always besides the point. What their metaphysical um, value is uh, as it's written in the books is besides the point to me. And I'm not saying that's the best way or the right way. I'm just saying that's how it is for me. But when I offer my crystals up on, the, on my website or any other way, I like to be as clear and as honest and as um, transparent and as accurate as I possibly can be. And um, it's not always easy because there are so many people misrepresenting the crystals and um, there's a lot of trademarking with the stones and, and once they're trademarked, they're... Um, they're considerably more valuable and then there's a lot of fakes out there. Um, whenever a crystal gets popular, there's always fakes popping up. Um, it's just the nature of how things are in the society, in our society as it is. Um, so all we can do as consumers, as crystal sellers, I don't like to say selling because I don't, um, I'm going to mention this now because it's come up. I don't sell the crystals. I offer my services. The crystals are always a gift. And the, the cost is for my service to connect you with the crystals. So um, I just needed to say that because it came up. Um, and now I lost my train of thought. So as crystal consumers, as crystal um, businesses, 
we do our best to get the, you know, to get and to find and to offer and the, um, the crystals most, um, as honestly as we can. But even the crystal sellers, when they get them from their suppliers, even if they're trusted suppliers, I, it's not always possible to know for sure if something is authentic. It's just, it's just the way it is. So um, we try our best, but when you're um, getting into that, into trademark territory or into crystals that are very popular, you should always have it in the back of your mind that um, there's a possibility that what you're what you're getting is not authentic. And then if it comes up that it is or it isn't, you won't be disappointed either way. Um, personally, I love to connect with the crystals as individual beings rather than um, focus on what they're called. And I always find the most magical things happen when you connect with the stone beings in that way. Okay, so here's the thing. I got in touch with my supplier. And it, I got them a very long time ago, so he hadn't even remembered them. And, um, but he remembered where he got them, and I have already put out messages to um, uh, the... Uh, crystal supplier who uh, first offered these specific particular stones that you're looking at right now. So I'm looking into it because I feel it's my responsibility to do so and um, I'm doing so. And I also want to know, I, I like to be informed and I like to inform my customers. But this morning I had the thought to um, just take a look at the pictures of what's being offered as aquapraise, which these are supposedly supposed to be. And I was looking at them and I was thinking, that doesn't feel like the same stone. There were a couple of pictures where maybe it looked like the same stone, but um, it just didn't feel like it to me. So what I did was I, I went to my uh, Hoite crystals that I have here, my Ahoite in quartz. And I put them next to each other and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna just do that here right now and let you let you decide what you think. So that's one of them. Like I just want you to take a moment to take a look and see um, the crystal on the right is a hoite in quartz in its rough form. It, these are not obviously a whole crystals. But I mean, feel into that and, and look at them. They look very similar. It's, it's to me, it's very likely that they are one in the same. Although the matrix is, is different. The stone on the on the right is in chalcedony. The stone on the left is quartz. But I mean, I'm looking at these crystals. I'm feeling them. Let me put them in my hand because again, you can you can see them better in my hand. Why is that? I don't know, but it is. It is just that it is. So, I mean, I would easily believe that these are the same crystal. And the energy-wise, like vibration-wise, they feel the same. And I've had this happen before where I've put crystals together and realized they were the same. Just by feeling into the vibration just by looking at them. Even if you don't feel the energy of stones, you can look at these and see how close they are. 
and how easily they could be one and the same. And again, I just want to make, make it clear that I'm not trying to convince anybody one way or the other. I'm just trying to find out what is real and what is not. Um, I think from what I've discovered, if it was aqua praise, I'd be, I'd be thrilled because it's, it's such a rare stone to, to connect with that energy and to feel that energy would be awesome. So let me show you the other one and, uh, you can see, let's see the other one. I mean, one of these things is like the other. Um, okay, not such a great joke, but um, yeah. I mean, how alike are they? And even uh, this one, where there's like, do you feel that? Like I'm just letting it, uh, letting you take that in for a moment. Now it feels like the same stone. This feels like a hoite. And um, whether it is or it isn't, I've already made a note on my website saying that you know, there's a question as to whether this is a Hawaii or not. And so please make your choice knowing if you're, if you're wanting to adopt this crystal, make your choice knowing. Uh, this crystal actually already got adopted. This, um, the Chalcedony, um, the Hawaii. I love saying a Hawaii. What a lovely, lovely, I hope I'm saying it right. Um, what a lovely sound magical stone but how crazy is that like sometimes it's just a matter of just listening to the stones and and doing a little bit of you know research experiential research going right to the stones and saying are you guys the same I mean I to me they're the same except obviously one is quartz one is calcitonin but I love this. This is fun to me. This is so much fun to me. I'm having so much fun um, because I love exploring. I love finding truths. I love, um, I love connecting with the stones and having them teach me things. And they're teaching me right now to just look, to just open my eyes and look. And Ahoy is one of those stones, if you've ever seen it, I do have a couple of crystals. I don't know if they're up on the website yet, but if you've ever seen an Ahoite in quartz, in a whole quartz crystal, not quartz like this, it has this magical quality. It's just The ones that I have don't have a lot of Ahoite in them. You have to like really look for the inclusions. But what happens is when you sit with them, the Ahoite almost like, rises up to the surface it pulls your eye to it it's I, you really have to experience it to understand it's just magical because it's there and it's hidden but if it wants you to see it it will sh it will make it it will rise up and get your attention it's a definitely a crystal for being seen for for manifest manifesting being seen um, if you're if you're wanting to um, show yourself in the world but it's also can show you how to hide how to not be out in the um, public eye how to um, be be there without being seen which listen there's you know there are times when we want both of these oh wow look at this I'm just looking at this again how similar they are and how wow okay I'm gonna stop geeking out and I'm gonna leave you with this and um, 
enjoy that energy. And I will see you on social media and I will be writing a blog post about uh, this experience and about some other, um, another experience that I had with some uh, crystals that I was told were fake. First I was told they were real, then I was told they were fake, then I was told they were real again. It's, it's, um, it's sometimes, you know, business can be a little crazy that way. So enjoy that energy. Have a lovely day. Have a magical, magical week and be in touch.